So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck, come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code, Wolf. It's Windows Pro time. Righto, tell you how there champs. Now, have a look at this. Completely different behavior. And I'm just gonna run this. I'm not gonna do any visuals or anything like this. I think you wanna know. Look at this behavior, limited, limited to 14, 15 watts and 1600. That's fine, I've been playing this oh, a bit now. It's not gonna engage. Some people have problems where it's hitting, something's happening and then it's going to the integrated graphics. I can't replicate it on PUBG. With Battlefield, with this i9, and this is the important thing. This is an i9, it's a different BIOS. It's a different system to the i7. So the i7, I didn't have these problems. I just had those little bit of micro stutters. And the micro stutters were because the watts were going too high, right? Now this one here, clearly, they're limiting it. And this is the i9, which is fine. I have no problem. This is what they need to do, right? To, like, it was just going bonkers, that other one, right? It was going up to 40, you know, 56 watts like gaming on an xps 15 that was just nuts this one here completely different you can see 15 watts perfect that's fine you know it's never going to overheat like this it's just going to be nice and smooth gameplay look look the frames i don't even know what settings i'm playing but um 90 frames per second are you complaining with the performance no actually i better find out what bloody settings i'm on ah uh, i have no idea what is that um high high i'm on high settings i'm getting more frames per second than the gpus like i'm playing borderless i don't know if that's making a difference full screen all right medium shadows why did this happen i don't even know i didn't even put these settings in oh let's go to custom let's go to high high no not ultra Ultras, just that's nuts. Doesn't do anything. Supply this. Yeah, nice Elgato. Love you, Elgato. Love how it does this. Why does it do that? Um, let's go back. Let's resume. All right. So I'm playing high settings. Now, this is the thing, right? Look at the wattage. 14 watts on the CPU, much better temperatures, right? 66 degrees. And you can see I've been playing for a while now and I haven't got that thing where it clicks over to the integrated GPU, which this does. In, in Battlefield, it won't even engage the normal GPU. So, yeah, so I can't do the i5. Actually, I could do the i9 testing if the game's all worked out like this, but you can see I'm getting more frames per second on higher settings. It's just nuts, right? So how is that possible? I'm getting higher frames, I'm on higher settings, but the CPU's slower. What? I don't know. It's because obviously the GPU's staying at a higher frequency. You can see there, look, it's still in 1600. And obviously when the CPU's a lot hotter, it can't do 1600 obviously it goes down to 14 13 but whatever you can see there i'm going to put it on battlefield because this one is not going to obviously do that sort of crazy thing i'll just cut this little bit out here all right so there you can see the dpc latency thing this is the i9 remember it's on a different bios too the i7 never had a problem only when I installed OBS was this happening, so I don't know what's going on there. Let's just fire up Battlefield. Yes, have a look at it. Have a look. Oh. All right, so here it is. The XPS 15 having a heart attack. Look at it. Epic 8 frames per second. You can see up there, 300 megahertz, right? The GPU's not even engaged. I don't know what's happening. Driver issues, BIOS issues, never had this problem on the i7. Just letting you guys know, don't get hysterical about it. Because Dell have told me, they know what's happening. Um, they can fix it. The DPC latency that I'm getting with this one, I don't know what's going on there. Seems to be only when I installed OBS it started doing that. And it's only on this unit, by the way. 
that's more of a concern. I think this can be fixed. All they have to do is, oh no, whatever, fix something so it engages the GPU and it doesn't do this. But um, apparently some people are playing and um, they're playing like with the normal FPS and it's engaging the GPU like I was playing PUBG just before. And then all of a sudden it just switches to the uh, internal GPU. So I don't know what's going on there. I think this can easily be fixed, this one. And it's all to do, you know, with the review. I'm reviewing this and I'm reviewing it against the MacBook Pro. And, you know, that's why you do all this testing. And it's going to be like these asterisks have to come up. It's like with reservations, I can recommend this. Like these issues have to be fixed. And they all do it now. They all release stuff that's half-baked. And I don't think it's good enough. I'm just letting you know. Tell me if you have any issues like this. I don't know why the other one doesn't do this. And also, I don't know why the behavior in PUBG was completely different with this i9. Because, hello, oh, see if I can get him with three frames per second. Oh, no, I can't do that. It's too blurry. Um, because that was completely different behavior. I was getting higher frames per second at higher settings because I was playing medium settings. Yet... You know, the seemed like it was limited to 15 watts or 20 watts or whatever it was. So I don't know what's going on there. Why this completely different behavior with this i9? But by the way, this i9 friggin' screams. But I can't complete my test i9 versus i7 until this gets resolved. So I'm not worried at the moment. All I'd say is make sure you get some guarantees, like especially with that DPC latency. And, you know, you've got to be able to return it. Like, if they don't fix that within, like, three months, you want to be able to return it in three months. So talk to your support agent. In Australia, it's fine, right? In Australia, you're covered because you have um, consumer rights that say that, you know, if something's not fit for purpose, you can always get a refund. So, yeah, just, just hold off. Um, that's why you do all this testing. It all comes down to the review at the end, yay or nay. You know, if they say they're going to fix it, I'll take it at their word at the moment. But you just seen the XPS 15 have a heart attack. It's having a heart attack. I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, catching the next one. I can't do the i9 versus i7 in the gaming one. I can do it. I've already done the content creation, so I can compare that. But I can't do the gaming if it's doing this. I don't know. Catch ya.